Here we have a 2000 model Honda City that we're gonna, it's in for a rebuild. As you can see, we're starting to clean up the block and once it's fully honed and decked, now it's all ready. And if you've seen our old other videos on rebuild, we take you all, all along the way, each step. Like here we upgrade with ERP rod bolts and of course brand new piston rings and all the good stuff. Yes, now here we clean up or make sure the saddle is really clean, then drop in the main bearings. Want it's all good? Yes, you guessed it. Assembly loop. Then we drop in the crank. Yep, now the pistons. Now it's all good. Yep. And of course, it's got to have an upgrade. A PO8 ported Z6 header D15B. Yep. And what header and, and intake manifold are we going to use? Stay tuned. Let's go. <laughs> First things first, here's our new Facebook page. I had to make a new one because when my personal Facebook got hacked, I lost control of the old one, so I had to make this new one. Here we got our prices, even head porting, engine assembly, even cam degree, and ECU tuning. You can check it out, we got our prices there. We often post, all, we try to post daily on the, the stuff that we do at the shop, like this, for example, we post this intake and led to an intake test, that was interesting. Like and follow the page, guys. If you don't have Facebook, I got my Instagram. I'm using it dedicated to SRD Motorsport. So you see, even though it's my personal Instagram, we just post all the shop stuff that we do. And of course, those are in, who are into short form con content. We also have got our TikTok. See, I pinned my three guitar videos there. I just post all the good stuff or the good, good entertainment. So yep, so now let's start. So Nico and his guys disassembled the engine, sent it to us, we checked the block, everything checked out quite fine and good. So we had it honed and decked. So now it's ready to be assembled. Yes, look at that, freshly decked surface. Okay, this engine came from a D, from a Honda City, a 2000 model, but it's gonna go to this hatchback, Nico's hatchback, because he actually treated the hatchback for a four-door SIR. What is gonna do with that? We'll find out. Okay, now here we also suggested to upgrade the ERP rod bolts. It's become standard to us because, you know, just for safety and, you know, to let the engine let loose and, you know, not, be, be durable of course the oem npr piston rings yep we gotta prepare it yes and all it's all ready now we drop in the we'll clean the bearing saddle and then put new bearings in and of course assembly loop and drop in the crank and then the girdle side thrust first all right well, now we oil each main stud main bolt for with a uh, 30 weight oil just to make sure it's lubricated well hand tight it so it's all snug before we do the torquing sequence yes here we are all right now we start with the first step is 18 feet pounds torque so this is just going to be quick because it's just you know light and you know just going to be real quick it's going to click around so you know, faster than usual. There you go. Yep. Okay, we're gonna speed it up a bit so it doesn't get too boring. Here's the last one. Yes, all right. Okay, now, next step, we'll adjust the torque wrench, make sure the torque values are proper and good. Okay, now here, all right, now we go with 38 feet pound torque, the final sequence. There you go. Yep, now speed it up. Doesn't get too boring. Yes, and the last one. Yeah, all right. Now we unwind the torque wrench to get very good. But before anything, hit the like button because the more like the video you get, the more activity it shows to uh, the algorithm. It'll spread out to a wider audience. It helps the channel big time. It helps me big time. So hit the like button, guys. I need that favor. Thank you. And of course, if you haven't, you gotta subscribe. This way you can watch on your own free time. Whenever you log into YouTube, you can check out our playlist and check out all the videos we've done. We more than 300 videos here for you to enjoy, all right? Subscribe and I'll see you. And of course, for the hardcore in you, yes, we got the ultra technical videos like 
more than 20 videos that's ultra technical even the dyna tuning the can gear adjustments that we did and how what it affects power yep and all those stuff i'll see you in the members only all right yes the turn is literally good now okay now there's no bolt there yet for the pulley but it still turns so now let's turn this block right side up all right we tape the engine number there for, for safety reasons for the owner for the future owner so yep here we're gonna wipe this up good with paper towel wait let's put the bolt in there so we're gonna turn this when you start putting the installing the pistons so, so it's gonna be harder Ooh, flying bug see that okay there you go okay now we wipe this well, here, we haven't shown you this in other videos, but we lubricate the rod journals, top side, and then turn the crank to lubricate the bottom side. This way, as the assembly lube drips around the journals, it drips around all throughout, or 360 around the journals. This way, when you install the pistons, it's well lubricated. That's why people don't notice, notice that it's local. it looks like we don't lubricate the rods when you install the pistons. We always forget to videotape this. There, we've turned this the crank 180 degrees again. So now it can drip around. It's gonna be like, you know, you lubricate it all throughout the rod journals. Now we're ready it for top dead, for bottom dead on number one. But here, we wipe up the bore because they're gonna have flash rust because it's freshly honed, as you can see that. Yep. Wipe it some more, wipe it twice actually. Then we turn the paper towel. Yep, wipe it some more. Alright, now it's ready. Now we install the pistons. Yes. Now we let the bore, you know, wiped up with a paper towel because the piston rings are well lubricated before we use the ring compressor. So that's all good. There you go easy like that okay now we turn this work on the rod caps there we just put it on the side there and then on the other side for the other bolts okay there you go now we continue with the time lapse this, this way it doesn't get too boring piston number two rod cap and the ARP rod bolt lube or ARP lube. So you notice each time we put the rod cap, we also lubricate the the base of the rod bolt and the threads so that you know when we stretch it later, you'll see it'll work just fine. You don't have to generally re-lubricate re it to get the necessary stretch. I will talk about that a little later as soon as we get this done. Alright. Last one, number four. Okay. There you go. Yep. Yes. Okay. Now put the rod belt stretch gauge. Okay, let me get the camera and show you. It's zeroed out. There you go, it's zeroed out. And if you read the pamphlet for the ARP rod bolt, it says that if you don't have the stretch gauge, torque it to 26. So don't torque it over 28 if you don't get the enough stretch. Relubricate the rod bolts and you'll see it'll get to the necessary stretch like this. We torque it to 26 and look at that. The stretch is just right, right on the money. So yep, so we do the rest of the rod bolt like this, all right? Now it's all done. Oh, it turns really good. Yes, with the fresh brand new piston ring. So let's turn this right side up. And so nice, you always hear, it's like, it's so nice hearing the freshly honed bore scraping with the piston rings or the piston ring scraping through the bore and you know it's gonna be really, really good. And like nearly brand new condition, right? Yep, let's look at close the phone yes and the, the the stock pistons are not really dished so this is gonna have really really decent compression it's gonna be like a d15b jdm but this is a you know obd2 2000 model 
Here's the head, fully ported, the PO8 D15B or D16 Z6 ported head. Here we have a video of that. Link will be in the description below. And of course, the predecessor, this one, the guys, we did the head for the boys in Austria. They did really, really good with our project. Yep, that's good. Link will be in the description, okay? All right, now let's go. Here's the SuperTech valve seals. My colleague is gonna assemble it, get it all ready. And here it is, all assembled. Yes, yeah, so you can see the super tight valve seals is right there inside the springs underneath. Yep. And here, then we cut up, cut the intake gasket. As you can see here, it's perfectly according to the actual intake ports. Yes, and if you're wondering, we also have a video of this here, but also on the silver members only section, we have the best video there. Okay, now here, my colleague does the oil pump installs it and then the rear seal there okay and the the splash guard right there and then it tries to complete the oil pickup and so that we can ship you know close up the oil pan but that's for later now we turn it right side up get the head in seal on the drain drop in the head yes Alright, we go with the first step is like 25 or 22 and then we go with the 55, alright, that's all good, now my colleagues trying to look for the other stuff, the camshaft is there, yes, it's all ready now, time for the rocker arms, yep, here it is, so they can do the tappets or the valve tappets, yeah, this way, you know, it's, it's a, you know, people, the manual suggests, do this ta the tappets when cold. This is definitely cold. It, it has never run in uh, this new condition right now. So, yep, the ideal time for the tappets, but you gotta put the belt first because, like, AEM cam gear, Nico's original AEM cam gear, he hasn't brought it. So, we're gonna use the stock cam gear just to check, just to double check if the belt is correct. And, of course, to let us do the tappets or my colleague. There. Okay, now I think I'm gonna start doing the tapas now. Yep. Get all ready. Good. Yep. You got Nikki. You can do only do this when there's the belt there. So yep. Now we got the VDI intake manifold. Oh yeah. Look at that. Gates replacement belt. Brand new. And tomorrow we'll have the AM cam gear installed. Well, in the video, for you guys, it'll just be later. But for us, because it's nighttime, it's going to be tomorrow. Yep, this is it. So now, here it is. The AEM cam gear installed. And Nico sent in the see-through plastic cover. That's really cool. Yep, now the bottom end is all closed up with the oil pan. Everything is complete. All the bolts are sent to us. Yes, even here. All that. And I actually actually like this valve cover it looks like a graffiti themed valve cover right yep and here the clutch is gonna be a six buck rpm clutch here it is we're actually a dealer for rpm clutch which is made by mantic performance the d series clutch is 14 5 000, and the b series is 14,502. this is stage three four which is like the six buck it's like on the competition clutch and the XED locally is about 18,000 or 18,500. This is just 14,500. So hit us up if you're local, if you need a clutch, we got you, all right? Yep, here it is. Unfortunately, we couldn't put the transmission because the release bearing is, cannot be found. So Nico and the, his boys will pick it up and install it. Yes, it'll be on this car here. This is gonna be really, really good. Yep, and for the sock guys there, we have a playlist. You can click it over here.